and Mike, with with Reese now having to fill the backup quarterback role, uh, you know, how, how do you approach that? I know he's been working at that position and he's played it his whole life, but going into this week now, what changes a little bit with that? Well, just as what Tom said, we just have to, you know, we're going to give him more things than what he's had. And uh, we did that already today, and we'll continue to do that, you know, going right up to game time. So he did a good job with it today, and he's smart. You know, he's a football player, and he knows. And so uh, he'll do a great job with it. So do you feel like if you needed him to play against Minnesota, he could do it? Sure. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's been getting reps and uh, in practice. So he's had those reps, you know, and so, yeah, he'll be fine. We'll get him ready. Steve, he's a guy, I, I know his carries were kind of limited the last few weeks before Saturday, but he's still, I think, third in the conference in carries, and I asked Coach Allen this too. But how do you, with, with a freshman, how do you make sure you're using him enough without maybe, you know, suddenly looking down and, and he's had 39 carries in a game. Sure. Sort of well, <clears throat> Mike Hart, our running back coach, monitors that throughout the game, and he does a great job of uh, substituting those guys. And uh, we'll just, you know, we continue to do that. So Mike Hart takes control of that during the game. Just to follow up on Reese a little bit more, what kind of quarterback do you see him as? I mean, if you give him – quarterbacking characteristics, which ones do you really see in him? Well, first of all, he's smart. I mean, to be able to do all the things on offense that he's been doing, he's a smart football player. And, uh, you know, he, uh, he's a guy that's got great feet, you know. He's, he's a guy you got to account for if you're on defense. And, uh, you know, and he does a good job throwing the ball, too. He just, you know, he's just we're building that package for him throw game-wise, but the run game stuff's all been there. And some of the past has, too. How much does, does a Friday night game change preparation and, and different, just your routine, I guess? Yeah, good question. Um, well, today we kind of treated like a Tuesday practice for first and second down uh, offense. And so we practiced that today. And, and then tomorrow will be like a Wednesday where it's more third down and red zone. So you just you have to back everything up a little bit, basically one day. Uh, the fourth and one that you, was a quick snap, something that's happened a lot with, with you this year. It was a pretty much a normal situation that he's got to read the defense and, 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 and snap it. Yeah, uh, I'll take blame for that. Um, it was a situation where if they jump across, he snaps it, you know, and they didn't, but he snapped it. And that's, but we have another one that <clears throat> where we don't snap it. And, uh, you know, we'll use that going forward. And so he doesn't have to determine if they're jumping or not, you know. Forgive kind of a procedural question on that. It looked like a, a Penn State player jumped and then got back. I mean, yeah. how, how tough can it be, I guess, for a center to to know it, when he's got the comfort or it, when he's got the hard. timing? He, has to, he can't worry about the real wide guy, and that was a wide guy. He has to worry about more of the interior guys. And, uh, you know, again, I, I take the blame for that, and I'll, uh, we'll, we've addressed it, and we'll, uh, we've, we're changing that. Thanks.